and uh, we are going to talk about uh, spring security jwt authentication authorization mechanism with angular so what we need to do first of all i am going uh, going through the authentication authorization part hello yes sir yes sir so for that already we know right we have to add some dependency uh, one is for spring uh, starter security second one is uh, jwt token this is the two things which you have to do okay and uh, for spring configuration if you remember uh, we we have this web security configuration remember i forget it remember here uh, you know basically uh, i mentioned uh, this is uh, permit all permit all means allow access to everything yeah any url pattern which is terminating with slash auth uh, it should permit right and test yes. this is just a two url pattern which anybody can access without token token public yeah without authentication so uh, on top of it, uh, you know, other things, uh, you need authentication authorization, right? So, so what, you can what is the difference it. between authentication and authorization? Authentication means uh, if somebody wants to land up into your project, he has to show username password, right? That is called authentication. Once a uh, username password is correct, you can issue him a token. Make sense? Uh -huh. You can issue him a token and using that token, he can access other resources. That is called authorization. Authentication like is all about uh, username, password. Authorization is role. I'll yeah. show you. Okay. okay. So in this, uh, you need to know uh, when you access login endpoint, right? How token is generated. So let me show you very quickly. Okay. So I'm just coming to, I'm just using this controller. You know it, right? So yes, sir. I have this code is not very that nice code. I would say in order to make it simple, I just uh, you know wrote at a very high level. Can you see this? In this, hello, yes. Yes. authentication, right? We have this mapping, and uh, we are sending username password from the front end. Say so you are following me. Yes, yeah. I'm following. What what I'm what I'm sending you? Other people say yes, yeah, no, so that we can make it very very interactive. So here you see, in this I'm sending username password, right? It will come uh, from your Angular application as a JSON request payload. Make sense? Then using authentication manager, this bean is created by whom? Spring Boot. Spring Boot. And uh, when you call the authenticate method, please mug it. And this is nothing. In that, I am just passing my username password in this user uh, user uh, password authentication token uh, POJO given by Spring, Spring Security. Boot. Spring okay. Security. That's fine. Spring Boot. Make sense? So, sir, this is the format of the code, syntax of the code. I hope I'm making myself clear. Simple. The username, password. I'm so. As per the Spring Security rule, when you call authentication manager dot authenticate, say yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it will call a particular uh, particular service method. Find by username. I'll show you. Right. It is fixed. Say, see, we have this class. This is the interface provided by. So this will be called. Your your question is why 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 this is called? Just go to the spring security configuration file people this one and here you can, can you see this yes so this code meaning is when somebody will call that authentication manager that authenticate then this service which method is called by default implementation there is a method there is a method user detail service. load user by username. This is called. If you got it, say I got it. If I say I don't, don't understand. Please. Uh, can I can you repeat that? Did you create this load by load user by username? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is written by me. Yeah, this is my okay. custom class, right? Fine. 
and this is your same DAO layer which you wrote last time. Remember, this DAO layer yeah. is uh, written by us. How so are you calling I'm, that method? What is the utility? Yeah, yeah, that we have to. This is uh, when you use authentication manager dot authenticate method. So which service layer will be called and why? It is configured in Spring Security. When you call authentication manager dot authenticate, then this service, this service bean. Are you following me? Which method is called? Uh -huh load user by username that is fixed this is how spring security internally so it has to be like load user like name should be like this like load user by username or you could keep anything pardon the name of this uh method right load user by username it should be fixed or you could give yeah no no name. it is fixed it is fixed okay okay and that's why uh, it is calling like yeah, yeah. and see what you're doing here when it is called, uh, you are just taking username and passing to the DAO layer. You know it, right? If size is zero, means user is not there. Am I correct? Spring Security says, if you are trying to find user by username, then user not found exception, we should throw. Make sense? Otherwise, you yeah. just bring the user detail. Are you following me? Let me tell you, in this, uh, for temporarily, what I have done, we have password also. Say yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. We have yeah. password also. So, so password, I have fixed it because uh, in Spring Security, store password in encoded format. Which format? Encoded. encoded. But our password is not encoded. You know it? That's why yeah. what I'm doing is when I'm fetching the password, I'm assuming my password is always test. Only username I'm matching, not password, right? But but down the line, I will make it soon. Okay? You got it? Another uh, quick question. This close, right? User not uh, found access. It is, uh, is it a custom or uh, like? No, no, no. It is, it is, it is, it is already there in the Spring Security. Okay. So, right. so why, oh, what is the difference between throws and throw? Uh, throw is basically throw is used to throw the custom exception. And oh. uh, this method is saying, if you call to me, I will throw this exception. This so is indicated to the caller. Hey, if you call to me, you have to handle this exception, right? And uh -huh. this is true. Here you are throwing so, the exception. That's it. So throw, throw keyword is used like to also, so that the custom throws, exception. So that throws is caught by throw, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if okay. you throw it and you are not handling it, then at the method declaration, you have to mention it so that caller okay. can take care of it. Okay, so what if we don't uh, write throws over there? Then? Actually, if it is the uh, unchecked exception, right? Then you are throwing it, uh, you can omit it, right? Because it is already de declared in the... Yeah, are you following me? Override. It is already declared here. If you do not override it, it's override. okay. This okay. is the method overriding rule, okay? You can, gotcha. you know, omit it. Because it is already taken care in the interface declaration. Interface, right? yeah. yeah. So then what we are doing? Oh man, password is always what taste encoded because this password I'm expecting it is coming from database and my password is encoded already. Shushan, my password okay. is fixed, right? Temporarily, yeah. because uh, if you store the password in an encoded format, then we can take the actual password. But that is the not use case, right? Right. You got it? Why I have hard coded it, encoded password? Because in database, the whatever purpose. password we have, it was not encoded. So, if you want, it should work seamlessly without uh, doing this temporarily thing at the line number 35, then you have to store this password in database. Make sense? Yes. So when, when, when we make the sign up, right, then we'll take care of it. Clear? Then using this, I'm just building another user detail object, which Spring Security can understand by sign up object. So what this method is doing, sir? This method is Oh man, it is taking sign up object and creating an object of see user details. User detail service. So in this, I am setting my uh, ID, I am setting my username, email, and password. So this class is provided by you or it is provided by Spring Security. Spring Security. No, no, Spring Security. Spring Security, has, Spring Security has user detail and we, oh, we okay, this yeah, is our class. But but it. but but it is it, it is a uh, as per the contract of user detail. Okay. Got the point? We so override thing, it, right? Yeah, we have just, uh, you know, implemented it. So not a big deal. In this uh, blindly, uh, which role I'm taking? Any guess? Admin. Admin. Role. Admin. I'm taking admin role. Remember it. Got the point? 
you just have a look on it and ask questions clear done so see if whatever password you have entered and whatever password i am setting if it is mismatch username password then it will give you the error otherwise what happened tell me otherwise you are returning user detail object say yes yes once you return the user detail object you will come i uh, come here once you get the object of authentication its meaning is you are a valid user say yes authenticated yes once you get the authenticated object you are and this authentication authentication is a contract given by the spring security and it has two thing what it has a username and role that's it right so this will only pass if your username password is correct otherwise you will yes. get the exception and you will never get it okay yes so see now you want to once you get this object then you want to set your power for the spring security context for that user by writing this line this line means your role is set in your context using security context holder in get uh, in context object you are setting the role for the can you can you comment authenticated can you, user can you write a comment yeah. there? this is important this means this this means you are authenticated a spring security will not block you then if you write this line you can go anywhere in the code i don't know you guys are following me or not what is it yes sir so you, you can also, have access to yeah this line means what you, you are authenticated authenticated and your role is ready for you. ready for you okay that's it Oh, where have we defined so, the role for the? Yeah, I'll tell company. you. Somewhere, whenever somebody says, "Are you admin?" Yeah. So from there, for from here, uh, authentication already you have role, so it will be match automatically. Oh. It's not your headache, man. <laughs> This line is doing great job in Spring Security. One line is you are authenticated plus you have role in your authentication object. Very very you need role, right? In your DAO layer, in service layer, or in controller, right? You will be cross if your role match with the role. Uh, provided over there i'll show you hello hello you guys are not replying you can mention the role okay i'll tell you how to mention the role okay you okay, can put sir. the notation uh, like somebody wants to call the delete method uh in oh, yes yeah. i think you have already taught us exactly i know at the rate uh, mm -hmm. where delete right I think it is not Yeah, no, I I taught you already. I can show you. Be authorized, and uh, here you can mention the. I don't remember the syntax, but I know uh, I have done already. But I can Google it and uh, you know fetch all these details for you. You have to say yes, always yes, even though you don't understand. Okay, say yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, where it is? Oh, cool. I did it one place. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Different, different projects, I think. Spring security, something like. Oof, yeah. oof, no worries. Let Google it. So that we can do. Google it. Google it. Google it. At the rate pre-authorized. Please help me. Pre. authorized in this you can call the method but i need to just put the role pre pre authorized we have to put add method right you can put in the ul pattern also but the example which i want to show you is the can you see this i need your help hmm? you know not replying sometime so uh, i'm going to this the here nobody can remember all those thing you know it already i spoke this couple of times reauthorize copy paste the here i just want to deal with one role okay so 
admin oh, is this okay with you okay so this endpoint only will be hit by admin when you have admin role say yes yeah. yes and uh, how it is being said after authentication let me open this give me a second please hello yeah no, yeah okay where we are so this is clear to you uh, the, the the annotation i put on top of it yes sir yeah this one yes okay so see uh, after uh, you know username password so you know what this line is doing uh, first uh, your user is authenticated then 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 you are setting role inside it role is ready for you yes first you got a point yes, and uh, see here after doing this much right we are generating the token right are you following me but here, uh, you know, a role and uh, other thing, we are not, uh, you know, using it because the, here uh, we are just generating the token. You got a point or confused? So line number 62 is generating token, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is library. And uh, when you are generating token, what you are adding in the token, are you following me? So you see, it is temporary code, what I did. If user name is Amisha, I just, uh, you know, creating the role in the token admin, otherwise customer, you got it? Actually, it will come from the database. Yes, you know. Yes. But you, you got my temporary, temporary solution. Yeah, this is a temporary yes, solution. Yes, sir. Yeah, but but we'll fix it. Okay. And yes. uh, see, in the token, we are setting the subject as a username, and uh, at what time token was issued, and and what time it is created, right? Issue at, I think it it is duplicate, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. This, this should not be and expiration date and uh, then then you are digitally making signature. This is important. This, this you cannot share with anybody yeah, because uh, if you share it because this is used to you know make a digital signature. So the people, hello, who has this secret key, right? Yes. So using this only you can ensure whatever token you have issued or somebody is sending to you back. Using this only you can validate it. Are you following me? Suppose yes. this token I am giving to you, if you temper it and you are sending back to me, I'll come to know by this. So this is the important thing. And here I am using symmetric uh, encryption decryption, but you can use a private key, public key in order to make asymmetric. You got it or confused? No, what, what did you say? What did you say? Asymmetric? So I'm saying you can use public key and private key also. I'm using symmetric means I'm using same key to encrypt it and same, same key in ah, order okay, to validate okay. it. Same, okay. same, same, same. Right. Sir, so yeah, this token, yeah, question. the token which I am sending back to the caller, what it has, it has role, right? Here you are sitting. Can you see this? Date and uh, user name, first. role, and at date. what date it was issued and what okay. time it is going to expire. That's it. What That's kind it. of signature? And which algorithm uh, is being used to uh, make a digitally uh, signed it? Done. Okay. What is? So mm -hmm. client side clear. Uh, server, uh, sorry, server side the API is clear to you. Yes, sir. See, in in real life, who has that JWT uh, secret? Of course, it is configured at the server side. If you talk about really how it is happened, I would say it is configured on AWS platform. On AWS oh. platform, there is a uh, cloud secret manager. There you can configure oh. all those things. So nobody okay. can uh, nobody can access it. Okay. Got it? Yes. Okay. So what about this? So, if, you, if you configure this, uh, the, the, this JWT secret in cloud, like if, if uh, it is, a, it is configured in the cloud. You will get, you will just get the, you will uh, have access of it, right? Credential and all. Programmatically, what about this code? Is, uh, do you still have to write this code in back end or just? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of okay. course. So that code is fixed, man. Java code is free. anywhere you can Google it, and I even I can show you. It is used in my project a lot. See, whatever I am teaching you, it is really being used in the professionally. We are using it, right? I'm from long time. So we can just copy paste this all code? Of course. Copy paste. Oh, okay. Normally, you will not get an opportunity to implement it. 99.99% .99 cases. They already set it up for you. Sorry. It is it, it is set up over there. Okay. Fine. Because uh, if you are developing something from the scratch and you are a technical architect, then, then you can get an opportunity to do it. Not you guys, so no worries. 
Got it? In that, I have a necessary lot of code. I'll clean up it in front of you. Fine. So, can you come to the front end? Yes, sir. Hello. See, I don't know. These things are not easy. If you think it is easy, anybody can do it. It's not like that. No, it's not easy, this right? It's really hard. And um, I'm telling you, I'm teaching you this first time to your batch. Normally, Angular and all these things means we never reach to there. Okay. You got it? Yes. Yeah. So let's run it. And please just go through it. If you want to learn it, you just go through. Already I spent around uh, two hours to implement it. With me? All yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And let's come to the front end. Can you see this? Yes, sir. This is your code. You know everything, right? So when you yes, click sir. on the login, I can open the code. You know it. Nobody can say I don't know, right? Let's go ahead. So this code we oh, have done already. This. You can go to this. And uh, here you see what I'm doing here. I'm just calling the login endpoint. Same way it is not being changed. Yes or no? No change. Reply. No change, right? No change. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So now it is returning, uh, you know, it is it is returning JWT token, right? So whatever token is going to be returned, it is returning token. Yes, you know, JWT token. Yes. So JW token, and uh, let me let me show you the response of it. Then you can understand better. Oh, Mister. Yes, sir. What data we are returning? See. Well, if you see, we have JWT token. Yeah. So I'm setting in the response. Yes, you know. So my JWT yeah. token is going to be stored in a access token variable, access token. right? ID, username, email, and role I'm sending, right? And yes. role I have in access token also. Please remember it. So this is my JWT token. Got it? Mm -hmm. And I'm sending other detail as well. User, username, email, right? As a part of the other keys. So I'm interested in which key right now? Only in access token. token. Yeah. Right. So if you see at the client side, whatever code is coming, I'm just uh, getting the access token and storing into the local storage. What is the local storage? Local storage is, uh, you know, one of the memory, right? Uh, which is uh, specific to your browser, right? It is uh, implemented with cookies and all. So I'm, I just stored it, right? In my which key? Authorization yeah. key. This is not header. Like this, this memory, uh, you can see it if you want. Where? Inspect it. it Go works. to the uh, application and here, local storage. Can you see this? Oh, okay. Key and this. So I'm storing in my browser memory. Why? You'll come to know. What I'm storing? Actually, uh, this token in uh, JWT, uh, we send as a bearer. This is a type, right? Bearer means I'm sending as it is. Got it? So bearer and space, you have to follow this methodology. You got it? This token uh, in next following request, I will send how? Reply. I will send as a, in the, in the, in the header. In yeah. header, and header key would be authorization itself. This name and whatever header name I'll use, that will be same. Then I want to go to which page? Home page. Home page. Is clear to you? Yes. So it is working for whom? Amisa. Right, password is test. You cannot use anything else, right? And login. So you are coming to which page? Home page. Home page. See, you just uh, use hope home and just click on it. Can you see this? Oh, no, no, no. Ideally, it should uh, navigate to the login page. <laughs> My bad. Like, why it is not happening today? No, no, no. Something I is wrong. Routing, routing is mistake. Actually, I have I have written some code. Let me show you. Go to the app routing module.ts file. I don't know what changes. Can you see this? If somebody wants to go to the home, right? So here I have created the guard. I'll tell you what guard is, right? So whenever you call this component, this auth guard will come in the picture. Let me open it. Are you with me? Yes. Apply. So when I'm coming over here, so first of all, here I'm just checking, right? Whether I'm am, I'm am logged in or not. Are you following me? Is logged in. How will come to know you are logged in or not? 
reply in local storage i am just taking if authorization is there means i'm I, i'm logged in say yes oh man yeah how you can copy it one more time yeah yeah my question to you is how you came to know you are logged in if you are logged in uh, and username password is correct then uh, in your local storage you are setting this key authorization means you logged in not replying not confused why you confused tell me after authentication you will get the token and that yes. token i am storing in this local storage as a authorization key that's it right item okay. if in local storage this key is there means you logged in okay hmm? and what if user data is not equals to undefined undefined means uh, not undefined undefined means data is coming oh if data is not coming then right then it is undefined okay let me uh, let me enter the username password over here do not take tension okay like here uh, you enter wrong username password so let's see what happen go to the network i haven't tried i think that use case so you know here if username password is incorrect it is, it is throwing a 401 actually i am not handling it this error is coming yes. and that error we have to handle and because they did it is not coming over here why because when you are making the call right here it is giving you uh, what here here you have to do exception handling you got it yeah. yes that's why it's not navigating your username password is incorrect so this 401 is coming from where who is sending Server this message it's being yeah. yes Like here I am again adding Amisha password is this, right? So if username password everything is correct, it goes to the home page. Home page. But before going to the home page, you have a check. Shall I show you? How? Yes. How you came to know you are going to the home page? Here, right? Navigate to slash home. But if prior to go to the slash home, guard, you have you know retain a auth guard. which is just in making ensure uh, you can go to app module.ts file can you see this here yes here can activate it auth guard right you will come yes. to this method and you are checking it is logged in or not how if it is logged in then true otherwise true. make false. a false and go to same browser go to the login page right and yes. this why is not navigating that's my question cool Yes. Help me. It is an app routing my DS, right? Slash means login component. It should go, right? I don't know. Why is not? Mm -hmm. Ideally, it should go. Let's try. I'm just uh, you now closing Windows. You understand how auth guard works? Simply you you put on the URL pattern. Hmm? You logged in already. Let me close this browser, okay? Uh, I'm. I yes. just closed it. And then let's open a new browser if possible. No, no. Session is not killed. Okay. Yes. Because we don't have logout functionality as well. That app. Let me open. Let me use some other browser. Microsoft. This is. Uh, and let's put it. Okay. I'm just putting home over here. Can you see this? Oh. Wait, yes. Kim. Because uh, you know, Chrome local storage and this local storage are different. one browser local storage cannot be shared with other browser local storage please remember it so uh, who will tell me when i type home why it navigated to this login page who will tell me because it was returning false uh, yeah. other people other people then see when you when you are typing on it right it will go to uh, you know uh, your auth you know your routing module can you see this here uh, you are typing home right 
so it will go and earth guard will check what it will check in can the tibet method the token is coming or not yeah, yeah. yeah you are checking yeah, in it service is it is just checking uh, in local storage we have authorization token or not authorization token is there means you are authenticated uh, sorry you are authenticated yes you got a point it's not wrong yes yeah and um, see i have one more thing can you see this if hello if somebody wants to uh, go to the edit page after this he must have what role edit admin admin, admin. role so right now i logged in with which user admin amisha amisha is the admin okay let's try with nagendra you got it yes so like we have check at the client side as well we can we have server side as well okay test and you click on it i am logged in right and in local storage my token is nagendra's token hello yes and when you click on it i wrote the code it will navigate to the login page mm. why and why? because you don't have authorized because, support because uh, when uh, when you click on it i have another guard two guard we have one which will which checking whether you logged in or not it is checking whether your role and how it will face the role from the token which you have in local storage shall i show you yes please so if you go here so how i am first of all i am just here checking uh, you have access it or not right role 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 can yes. i show you so first of all from local storage i am just fetching the authorization Say yes. Yes. And my authorization key contains three part. Dot separated. First one is uh, algorithm. Second one is uh, your payload, and third one is digital signature. So I'm just why your token is in this format. I don't know you know it or not. People are with me. Your token is always in this format. Sushant. Yes. Format. And this is your payload, which contains uh, your subject, your role, issue add, expired, all those things is present in that. So what I'm doing? I'm saying, hey, token, split by dot. So I'm just, I, I'm interested in this token. Say yes. Uh, yes. Hello. So using this me method, ATOB, I'm what going to uh, ATOB is the method through which uh, whatever uh, token is there, you can decode it. Fine. Hello. Okay. So here I got uh, I got my JSON data, JSON string, and this JSON yes. string I am getting as a Java object. Are you following me? Yes. So yes. let me show you. If you really wants to understand this auth, because this I am sitting right. Okay. This is the part of the claim, and you want to see it. You can say no, no. I see nothing like I want to see it. Okay. So, people. So question. Question. When did you write this code? Last class. Yeah, yeah. I I wrote it on Friday. Oh. Not in the class. I wrote it myself. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So no worries. Just have a look on it. Okay. So here your intention is, you want to see. I want to show you, and you 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 should know this this kind of debugging, Mr. Hero. What do you say? You must know this kind of de debugging. Other then only you can understand the code and all. Hmm? So what I want to debug? Control P. No, sorry. Uh, here, Control, control P, system. and you want to Control P, and you want to open debug lo login component. Yes. I think we have to open auth service. Help me. Control P auth sorry. service. I'm not able to open it. Control P. His name is something else. All service. All service that is. Yes. All service that is. Yeah, there is one. Sorry. The like here, you want to see the token, no? token all the. You just click on it. Can you see this? Yes. And then click on it. You have to be smart. And now do line by line debugging. Can you see this? Yes. Oh man, I, uh, this is my whole token, and this token comprises bearer mm -hmm. and three part, right? Dot. So when you say split dot, it will give you the three three part, right? I'm interested in the first zero part and first part. Oh, so this is my first yeah, part, payload. 
and then uh, using it i am converting i am decoding it right yes at all here uh, converting this object. At all. so you you actually where i am i got the claim can you see this yes key value pair and i am telling you on console we have a facility if you are smart you go and type here claims can you see this you can yes. print here as well wow right dot yes. huh? dot no first of all you have to you have to parse it this is gc is actually json string you have to parse into json dot parse you have to parse into object javascript object using parse method here you can write everything like this okay like i got it now i want to fetch the role right which is coming in the token so dot auth can you see this then admin okay mm -hmm. Mm. So nice. you see here. I am telling you. Next, right? So it is admin. If it is admin, then Return true means to. you will allow you to can. him to edit it. Yes. Otherwise, false. Yes. So then. Okay. Right. Cool. Very cool. Cool. So done. So authentication authorization. Please spend some time on it. If it's not clear, let me know. I think this is enough. And tomorrow yeah. I'm going to teach you Spring Data JPA. Now my focus would be, uh, I know backend, but I have certain topic to teach you, uh, like how to share the data across the different component, right? Uh, using input decorator, output decorator. Uh, what are the different directive tag we have, right? I'll tell you all those things, right? But but from tomorrow my focus would be on backend. Backend. So please, I'm sharing this code and go through it. If you don't understand, let me know. See, in this class only you can get the idea. If you think you can understand this code just by watching it, not possible. You have to make your hand dirty. Got it? And let me tell you a little bit about, about Guard. Guard is nothing, it is just service. Are you following me? And here you have to implement uh, which interface? Can yeah, activate. That's it. And uh, one more thing which you haven't uh, remember. See, I don't know. Whenever we are making the call, right? Any call we are making, uh, let me let me show you. Hmm? Oh, Mister, important. I am setting header. <laughs> yeah, in the I am setting something in the header automatically. Can let me show you. Sushan, click on the yes. sign up. Click on the header, mm -hmm. and if you see in the request header, right? I am setting this uh, authorization authorization in the header token. key, and I am setting the token value. But that code I haven't shown you. Oh. Let me show you. Actually, in my every request, whenever I'm sending a request, if, it, if this token is present in the local storage, then I have to set in the header, right? In every request. So for oh. that, I, ha I have implemented a interceptor. That is the Angular concept. Which concept? Angular concept. So see, here I have just created the interceptor. Can you see this? Yes. Token interceptor service. You can give any name to it. Right. And yes. I have implemented HTTP interceptor. And when you okay. do it automatically, this method will be automatically written over here. Oh, okay. So what I'm doing in this, I'm saying, hey, request, I want to clone you. Clone means I want to make object of you, right? In okay. your header, I want to set one key. This name is authorization and token. This is fetching data from local storage. You know it. Oh, okay. You got it. And then you say, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. That's it. Yes. So this is uh, whenever you make a request from the Angular to the REST API, this interceptor always will come in the picture. So exception handling, I will take care of it. Like you remember, uh, when we are making a request you, uh, from the you know Angular to the REST um, API, the if password. your username password is incorrect, it is giving you 401, right? Yes. And you have to navigate to the login page and by stating that username password is incorrect. But right now it's not navigating because exception is coming and we are not handling it. And so that I will show you in the next session. But this is enough for today. Can can you show me?